lot of gardeners, the excitement of planting flowers outside leads to enjoying them inside. It's great part of it, right? We Skype with Reagan Karstensen from Bachman's earlier this morning to find out how your garden can be a beautiful source for your own fresh cut arrangements. Hi, Regan. Nice to see you and nice to see all those beautiful flowers all around you. Uh, it's a great time yes. of year to cut down some of those flowers, right, and bring them in? It is, yes. We are talking about cutting gardens, and these are really the ultimate two-for-one deal. So they're these amazing flowers and foliage that you get to enjoy in your landscape, but then they can kind of live this second life when you bring them indoors. So what are some of the best flowers for that? You, you know, there's a wide range of annuals, perennials, and even bulbs that can serve as great cutting flowers. So the nice thing is that you can make them span a very long time. They can start as early as April when your uh, bulbs come up. You've got daffodils and tulips that you can snip and bring indoors. Then you move into kind of these summer favorites that we're looking at right here. Then if you plant your fall annuals, then you can go as far as, you know, maybe November if the weather permits that you've got mums. So you can really transition with the seasons and have something fresh for your for your home every season. Right now, you, we've got peonies all over the place. They're at the farmer's markets. They're in our backyards. What kind of tips do you have for kind of the best way to cut those down to make sure you don't damage the plant? Yeah, absolutely. So make sure that you have a really sharp snippers when you go out there. We recommend bringing out a bucket of lukewarm water when you go to your garden to snip your stems. And then also snip very low on the stem because that really gives you a lot of height. So when you bring them indoors and you're ready to start arranging, if you want something really tall and dramatic, you gave yourself that option. Hmm. So take the snippers, snip really low on the stem. We usually recommend at a 45 degree angle because that really gives the stem a lot of surface area to bring in water and nutrients. And then once, right when you snip, you put them in that bucket of water so they can stay hydrated while you're cutting all the rest of your stems. Regan, what about timing? If you wanna make these last for as long as you can, should you try and cut them as soon as they come up, so you have them longer inside? Should you wait a little while? It's really personal preference. You know, if you want to enjoy them in your garden a little bit longer, then let those linger in there. Cut a few, you know, you can, you can cut some for indoors, leave some in the garden. So it's really up to you what you're interested in. Uh, are there, Heather asked a little bit about the certain types of flowers, but if you're looking maybe now to plant some things in your garden that you might be using for cuttings, what would some of the things you'd recommend that might be looking great by later summer or early fall? Yeah, well, any of the things here in front of me. So we've got lilies are coming up and they're looking beautiful. Uh, Rudbeckia is going to give you this gorgeous. This is a very like autumnal color right here. I love that. Um, some zinnias, hydrangea gives you that blue. So as you can see, there's really a range of colors as well. You can kind of run the gamut, uh, span the rainbow for what you like. So when you're thinking about what you want to plant in your cutting garden, think about what colors you'll want to see indoors. And also, of course, consider your space. There's uh, sun plants and shade plants here. So depending on what your landscape is like, like you can uh, you can achieve the cutting garden. Great. And then we send someone from Bachman's over to arrange it because that is just beautiful. <laughs> That's right. We need you to do it for us, right. Regan. That looks really good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, this is really nice. Right? I wish I could take credit for this. But, uh, no, this is just an example of what you can accomplish. Yeah, really cool. Thank you. Thank you so much.